We'll soon be able to give your say on whether a needle exchange program should be brought to Pueblo. The program would let heroin users exchange their dirty needles for clean ones. Cario News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel has been reporting on the increased heroin use in southern Colorado. And Michelle, we understand many are saying this is a big problem in Pueblo. That's right, Heather and James. The Pueblo County Coroner told me in 2012, four people died from heroin overdoses. Last year, there were seven deaths. Health experts hope this program will eventually put a stop to a very dangerous trend. People are using drugs. You know, we can't stop that. Dr. Michael Nirenberg spent 24 years as an emergency room doctor at Parkview Medical Center. But treating patients who overdosed on heroin wasn't something he saw throughout most of his career. And then in the last few years, it started to become a regular occurrence. Nirenberg is one of five members of the Pueblo County Board of Health. The board will have the final say on whether the needle exchange program is brought to Pueblo. One of the big problems in the ER with long term users is. Sometimes we need vein access and they've used them all up. And clean needles used one time is better for your veins than dirty needles and used needles. Opponents argue the program promotes drug use. Nirenberg says that's not true, adding that counties that have the program have reduced the rate of infectious diseases. Lifetime treatment of HIV runs about $350,000. Uh, lifetime treatment of hepatitis C runs about uh, 125, 100 to $150,000. Uh, needles cost about 10 cents a piece. If you want to give your input on this program, there's a public hearing next month on May 28th. It starts at noon on the third floor of the Pueblo City County Health Department. If board members do not receive strong opposition about this program that day, they're likely to then cast a vote. As for El Paso County, last year the Board of Health rejected this same program. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Michelle. And this weekend.